Now, summertime is great here in New England, but the reality is we're not in the summer right now. It's actually the dead of winter. The winter is the best time to think about your lawn come the spring. So what I'm thinking about right now is the way I was able to transform my lawn this year in 2018. So let's see what I started with. This lawn was a disaster. It was full of weeds. I had dead spots, fungus, all kinds of problems. And the reality is that this was like this for over six years. I paid True Green. I had a few others try to help me. It never was successful. So to solve this problem, I knew I was going to have to take care of it myself. This was my end result, and I'm really pleased with this because this happened in the same season. This wasn't years of work. I didn't tear out the old lawn. This was renovated all in place. I did all the work myself. So my thoughts right now are on the spring because I want to continue the work I did. But the reason I made this video is because I wanted to show you a real before and after and then share with you the steps I'm planning for this coming spring. But the reason you want to pay attention is because those steps are the exact steps that I used to get to this point. Now the first thing you want to start out with is some mechanical aeration. Aeration is an undisputed benefit for your lawn, but for a really bad lawn like mine, this really helped. I had compaction, I needed areas that I could possibly have seed go in, and it would help get water and fertilizer to the roots. So I think this is the very first thing you should start with. A spreader is such an important tool for a lawn renovation. And that brings us to our next step, lime. Our lawns are so acidic, you really need to put lime down, and it's often overlooked. This balances the soil, and it makes a really good foundation for your lawn to thrive. The next important step for the spring is going to be the use of pre-emergence. These are going to control weeds before they even can start to grow. Now, they're usually put down in liquid form, but you can use granular as well. So what I'm doing here is I'm spraying an application and this is gonna keep weeds under control. Now it should be noted, this is my spring plan. I don't seed in the spring. In New England, I choose to seed in the fall so I don't have to worry about new seedlings. My next step was gonna be fertilizer. Now fertilizer is something I'm gonna put down every six weeks throughout the growing season so it's a regular item for me. Now I tried Melorganite and I tried some other organic fertilizers and I just did not get enough bang. So what I switched to were Lesco Professional Fertilizer products. They're available everywhere and as soon as I used them, I saw an immediate change in the grass. So for the foreseeable future, I'm going to continue to use traditional fertilizer. So when you put down your fertilizer, another product can really make a big difference, and that's humic acid. Now I have a separate video on this detailing the benefits, but I put humic acid down about every two months. This was a formulation that was a granule that you dissolve as a liquid, and I applied this to the lawn, and I felt that it really worked. I definitely had good results, and I do attribute a lot of that to the use of humic acid. My yard is split into two spaces. One of them has this irrigation system, and obviously that makes it easier. But you saw those before pictures, and those were all with my lawn being watered every day sometimes, or at least every other day. So my water schedule when I have my irrigation system running is every two to three days. But the other half of my yard was the problem, and I actually made this video called the No Water Lawn. This entire section you're seeing here with that great nice grass was grown without even a hose and certainly not with a sprinkler system. Everything was naturally irrigated. So watering can be accomplished multiple ways, and I encourage you to watch that other video if you've got an area without irrigation and you wanna end up with a nice lawn. Now that our products are down, we've gotta think about the next step, which is gonna be mowing the lawn. This is gonna be something you're gonna do very regularly. I recommend mowing your lawn at least once a week. I'll try to mow it twice a week if I can, but that's just not always possible. You want to have sharp blades, you don't want to cut off too much grass at a time, and the most important thing is to just mow often so that your grass is not folding over and you're not tearing it. How high do you cut your lawn? So this is widely debated and there really is no exact answer on what is right, but for me, I ended up settling on two and a half inches. I like the way the lawn looks, it doesn't fold over easily, and it holds up to foot traffic well. But you can find your own height that works, but this is what I did. 
I gave mulching a shot. I did it for almost 10 years. Now I know there were other problems with my lawn, but I wasn't happy with the results. So I switched to bagging do feel that this made a big difference in my lawn's turnaround. Now that may be because my lawn was already weak, but I wanted to share with you the way I did it, and my choice was to go to bagging. And frankly, at this point, I don't think I'll be going back to mulching anytime soon. So your lawn might be like mine. I've got low spots, bumps, and dips. It's just a typical New England lawn. So to fix that, what I do is, what you're seeing here, I put a little bit of topsoil and I use a special tool that really made this job easy. Now I have a whole other video on this that you can see it in action, but this really helped my lawn get a nice level look and it certainly makes it easier when you're mowing as well. Let's talk about weed control. Now it's inevitable, even with pre-emergence, you're gonna get some weeds. And I've got experience controlling weeds because when I started my renovation last year, it was actually early summer, which is not a good time to begin. And you can see all the crabgrass I had. I did a lot of research and I came up with one product for me that works in almost every situation. And that product is Syngenta's Tenacity. So for me, that will be my post-emergent weed control as needed. This video was intended to show you real examples. Most people on YouTube just tell you what they did or what you should do, but they never really take you through what they started with and how did they get there and then the end result. So what you've seen is real, it's all my lawn and it was all work that I did. So I hope this video potentially gives you a plan that you might apply to your own yard next year or at least it gives you a guidebook to steps that you can follow. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want more detail on any of these steps, look at the description because I put links to all my other videos that break out some of these sections so that you can learn more. So I appreciate you watching and I hope you have a great new year.